I'm really confused right now. It's half six a.m. I haven't slept yet. I upgraded my computer back to Windows 10 and I have an external GPU on my laptop. So this is a laptop second generation i7 but it has a 540M inside and I put an external 960. And I had the same setup before and I never was able to run my screen from the video card. My drivers would crash. But Nvidia released new drivers and I was on Windows 7 because that worked. But on Windows 7 I was not I was getting terrible performance on Simu, like really terrible. I had 15 to 18 FPS but the game was choppy and it was really bad. And now I updated back to Windows 10 as you can see. I updated all my drivers, I installed everything, I had everything on the second drive so I put everything in and as you can see I'm still getting, I, I get better, I get higher FPS, I got, I used to get like 15 and it was really choppy and, and especially if I move the camera. Uh, I will put a clip probably of that right here or something but now I'm running on my second screen in full screen, this is with the 1080 pack. If I would have done this this morning it was so choppy and now it's pretty fluent and I can move around. I have a PlayStation 3 controller hooked up by the way so that's how I am controlling it. But this is playable. I can play this. And that on my second generation i7 processor on a laptop on a 1080p screen in full screen. I could run this in smaller size and even that would be good like this. I could run this and I would be fine with that and even a frame rate there would be better. But let me get this full screen back. Hang on. This is gorgeous. I'm, I'm confused. How can this work? And this is with the 1080 pack and anti Elysian patched on Simu 1.9. And I'm getting a stable 20 FPS, which is really fluent. Like, this is really playable, especially the camera movement. That was my biggest issue because every time I would do this, it would go like that. It would stutter and sometimes even hang for seconds. And now this is great. I'm so confused because my computer is still the same. All I did is upgrade my drivers, which came out today, plus upgrade it back to Windows 10. And Windows is updating in the background and it's still running like this. I can't even imagine that it runs even better when the, when the updates are done. But this is amazing. Second generation i7 on a laptop from 2011 with a GTX 960 eGPU in the background. <laughs> Which is probably bottleneck because it's running through a one times PCI mini, mini PCI lane. And um, look at this. This is what my processor is doing and that's what my video card is doing. And I'm not sure why it's showing 0 MB. Maybe because I haven't even restarted my computer since I installed all my drivers. But this is the 4 gigabyte version. And that one is running on 40 degrees. And my processor temperatures, I can't see them right now because I haven't rebooted yet. And PC meter is not running up because I... But the, my CPU is not doing anything and it's just gorgeous. Let's see if it, if it keeps... If I move around the camera. Okay, I'm gonna move... I'm moving the camera around. That's what my processor is doing. And I'm running on all cores, so on all eight threads are running. And there you go. Uh, maybe I can get some FPS counter. No, I can't get an FPS counter right now here. But I have uh, this. So you can see the FPS. Which is not great, but for my laptop that is amazing. Especially with the... I get the 18 FPS now, and it doesn't look like 18 FPS. It looks really solid. That's the odd thing. I also put River Tuner to uh, cap it at 30 FPS. So if I go to the menu, it's not sped up. It's in real time because uh, it's being capped. Um, let me go into the town. I think that's this way. And I'll check. Because I went out of town because I couldn't believe my FPS was so high. So I actually left the town. But I haven't played this game. So I'm not sure how to do stuff, but I think this is the way. I'm out of run, but it's, god damn. My FPS is not dropping, this is still amazing. I think I can play Breath of the Wild now. I'm so happy.
Well, I think I've shown enough. I'm gonna go to sleep but and pray that tomorrow if I wake up this wasn't like a one-time thing. I had that once before that my video card was giving me 120 FPS in GTA and it never did that again. I always get like 40 now. But let's pray that this isn't the case and that I can play this. That would be awesome. Then I could make like a video on how my setup works and that it actually can play Simu and what maybe... Um, give my settings out to somebody with people with second generations and 960 because I knew the 960 could handle this game because this 960 in the desktop PC can run this no problem at 4k with the 4k pack but not with my laptop processor doing it with an external GPU but now it does so I'm gonna try the 4k pack let's see if that works but uh, thanks for watching bye